victory for internal democracy. And it is a lesson for political parties, particularly the PDP, to learn that if you violate your constitution, you violate the electoral guidelines you have made, you refuse to listen to the wishes and aspirations of your members, there is a consequence. And that is what has transpired today. The court has held that because the PDP, which is a self government in this case, has refused to comply by its own electoral guidelines, section 50, 36 of its own constitution, and the provisions of section 82 and 84 of the Electoral Act, its adopt delegate congress of 4th and 5th February 2024. The court just declared it as a nullity for the exclusion of 378 adult delegates who were duly elected and who have been so accredited by the party but were excluded. The implication of this is that PDP has no candidates because those delegates that were supposed to elect that delegate were excluded from participating in the party conference. For us, it's a victory for the rule of law and we must thank the judiciary because the judiciary remains the last hope of the common man. The judiciary has said these 378 delegates have been excluded, were unlawfully excluded. So for us, it is victory and there's need for those people to know that as it stands, PDP has no candidates and it's a lesson for the party and other political parties to always comply with them because there's no alternative to the It is a former Chief Justice of Nigeria. Atanda Williams, CGN, that said, in a situation where the rule of law is jettisoned, anarchy becomes a so beneficial. So God forbid that we live in the state of lawlessness. We don't pray for that to happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, your name again? Just like that. Andrew, Andrew.